All right, I'm sure you guys already know, but I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, and this is how I laid out 90 feet of fence in well under five minutes. One of the most frequently asked questions I get on a regular basis is how we go about lining out our fences, how we do the layout, the markings, etc. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how. Now, one important thing to note is this is not a paid promotion. We paid full price for this tool from Mr. Fence Tools. We are not getting compensated for the use of this video or for making this video. It's just a neat tool that we like to use a lot and it saves us a ton of time. Now the first step is to obviously establish our corners. The first corner was easy. Jeremy knew he wanted to be 20 feet off the back corner of the building. It was as easy as measuring 20 feet. But how do we get to this corner? Well, to get to this corner, we gotta back up a little bit. All right, so to establish the second corner, we need to figure out where 20 feet off of the building would be. It's as easy as using our eyeballs. So what we'll do is we'll line up our eye. I prefer my left eye with the corner of the building, looking for the other back corner. And as soon as it disappears, we know this is exactly in line with the building. We simply measured over 20 feet and we knew where our second corner was going to be. Now, the traditional way of laying out this fence line to know exactly where the post holes are to go would be to measure the entire distance and figure out how many sections we can get in here that are eight foot or less and then equally space out those sections. For example, this section is, or this line is 20 feet long. Well, we know we're on eight foot or less centers, so we need three sections. Well, 20 divided by three gives you 6.66 repeating. So we would have to convert that into inches and then lay everything out. Now, with the new tool from Mr. Fence Tools, the equalizer is as easy as figuring out we need three sections. We find our third tab on the equalizer, put a clip, and we simply stretch it out. Now, the way this tool works, it's an expandable cord. Think uh, bungee cord. So at maximum tautness, these tabs will be eight feet apart. But as you release slack of the equalizer, it makes sure that these tabs, every tab is equidistant. It makes sure all the spacings are proportional. We know we need three sections. So our carabiner goes on our third tab and then it gets placed onto our rod here. So now we know we've got three sections. They're all equally spaced. They're gonna be a little bit more than six and a half feet apart. Now this section is going to be 70 feet. So we know we need nine sections equally spaced. We go to our 10th tab, simply start walking. Now we're gonna start stretching this out and it's gonna start evenly spacing each one of those tabs. Again, it's as easy as taking our last tab with a carabiner, clipping it on our pole. Now what's a little bit different is Jeremy wants a four foot single gate to be right in this space. Well, that's as easy as taking a four foot span, carabiners on both sides, clipping one to our nearest post, our nearest tab, stretching our other carabiner over to our pole. Now we have a four foot opening and each post automatically recalculates its spacing to accommodate a four foot opening and then proportional post spacings beyond. All right, so one of the final steps in this process is gonna be mark out exactly where our posts are gonna go. Now, I'm using white paint. White is typically denotes proposed excavation. You see other guys use orange or pink. If they're digging that day, it probably doesn't matter. But for our purposes, this paint's gonna be here for a little while while Jeremy gets the equipment, brings it out, and gets everything dug. We want to avoid any and all confusion. This excavation will be done later, so we're gonna use white. All right, guys, it really is that easy. It took me a little under five minutes to lay out 90 feet of fence proportionally with a four foot single gate in the fence line. It would have taken me at least twice that long with a 300 foot tape, doing the calculations to figure out even post spacings, measuring them out, and they probably wouldn't have been this accurate. If you guys would like to learn more about the tool, I've got a link in the description below. Again, this was not a paid promotion. I didn't receive any sort of funding to make this video. It's just a neat tool that we use a lot 
to quickly and efficiently lay out fence lines. Until next time, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.